I think the distinguishing quality of my work is that I can honestly say it truly captures my personality. <laughs> it's very much based in play and imagination and kind of the childhood sense of wonder. I think we're always trying to change other people's perspective, but sometimes it's just enough to change our own. Nicole McLaughlin is a visual artist who repurposes found objects. For her, the idea of making her mark isn't about making something new. It's about making something with what we have. Inspired by the distinct design of the Genesis GV80, Vice is highlighting the designers who are defying our present to create our future. I kind of always want to have a playful spirit with anything that I do. Just keeping an open mind and being curious, I feel like that keeps me young and keeps me inspired and enthusiastic about what I do. That freedom to explore and play is what makes design so boundless. There really is no limit to what we can create. This is where I keep all of my scraps and different projects that I've taken apart. Yeah, let's see, here's another one. So I, I usually categorize by like if it's bags or certain types of material scraps. I think my favorite part of the process is really just coming, like coming up with the idea and like the moment where, when everything clicks, when you're like, oh, I have this material, I don't know what to do with this. And all of a sudden you see it. I think I decided I wanted to become a designer more when I got to high school. I had a deaf boyfriend, and so I started to learn sign language. I really was just so curious about just understanding his world. It came very natural to me, I think, because it's a very artistic way of learning a language. It's very visual. Sign language has actually helped me be able to communicate things that don't necessarily need to be said out loud. And so we don't have to speak the same language for you to know what I'm thinking or, or trying to convey. I want you to be able to see a piece and immediately feel something and kind of recognize where it comes from, know that it's not in its normal state, but still be able to understand and like translate that. It could be the color, it could be the shape, it could be the way that the material feels. Ultimately it comes down to like, can this have another use other than what it originally is and what it's used for? Uh, so I'm looking for probably more of a platform sandal today for what I think I'm gonna create. So usually I'll, I mean, I'll use this big piece of fabric to kind of figure out what part of the material I want to use and kind of where it's going to sit. And then I'll actually cut the excess fabric off of it. There's so many possibilities. And this is like a half of a scrap of a jacket. And there's like three different options to make shoes out of. Anything that you cut, it's, it's not permanent. You could end up using whatever piece for something else and kind of continuing that lifespan is really important. But I think we have something here. I think any type of creative process, there is some type of vulnerability within yourself. People will comment on my pictures sometimes, just why? Like they'll literally write the word why. And I always sit there and just like, why not? There has to be that exploration in order for things to be able to be uncovered and to be newly created. That was honestly the biggest push was for me to just kind of let go of the fear of not being ready, never being ready enough to make something. You made a shoe. <laughs> designers can change the world. I really think that designers can change the world. We're starting to see some amazing changes within every industry. People have been thinking about sustainability and it always comes back to the word of resourcefulness. I wanna shift people's perspective with the way that I create things. If we thought about 
what's pre prefabricated, pre-made, can we take that apart and figure it out to make big changes? It doesn't have to be perfect. It really can just be taped and stapled together, but ultimately the idea will get out there and it'll evolve from there and you could end up changing the world from that.